The Sugar Bay. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Now, um, I'm going to get them all to introduce themselves and see if you can spot any difference. <laughs> Hello, I'm Heidi. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jade. Hi, I'm Who? Simon Mel. <laughs> <laughs> I know you two. Who are you? <laughs> Hi, Jade. Hi. <laughs> so, this is quite exciting, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit strange. Like, we came out, I was just expecting to come to the radio station and there was photographers and stuff everywhere so it's a roadblock outside yeah just adapting <laughs> yeah. so uh, you're on the new sugar babe i know you just come uh, straight back from la just got off the plane yeah yeah wow. yeah first class was it um no no business <laughs> 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 do you know what though i'm always economy so i was like yes yes this is fun i could get you used to be going business. economy or a sugar babe now oh listen i know now i'm a sugar babe it's glamorous yeah. but life isn't always that glamorous no. <laughs> I, just, I know this is boring for everyone else but what food did you have because i'm slightly addicted to airline food i like airline food oh, too, I, as well, you know. I don't it makes it makes me a bit ill what but did I you had, have i had pasta i think it was pasta and meatballs mm. and um just some breakfast stuff like fruit mm. and cereal <laughs> nothing did you wear a badge saying wake me for food no, I didn't. But I, I seem to have this sixth sense. I seem to wake up any time there is food around. I just smell it in my sleep. Oh. Anyway, um, welcome to Sugar Babes. Thank this, you. What happens, right, every nine months or so, um, just to bring you up to speed, you come into the studio, right, with the two others. Um, we give you loads of sweets full of e-numbers, and then you tell us everything. Yeah. <laughs> We've brought you sweets. Yeah, We've brought, brought you American oh. sweets. Oh. <gasps> These are amazing. Becky, you can't have any, obviously, with your bad stomach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they I like them. Those kisses ones. <laughs> they're your favourite. <laughs> yeah. Do you want keep, me to open them for just you? Just keep eating keep the marshmallows the and we'll, we'll have a chat. <laughs> now, um, Jay, this must be a bit weird for you, really, in, in lots of ways, because the first thing we heard of you was kind of Eurovision. Yeah. And this bag's quite tough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, can we all stop scrunching the bags now? I'm trying there to have a go. chat with Jay. Sorry. Oh, back to you. <laughs> right. Um, then you signed a deal for your like, own record. Yeah. And um, your solo single's out this week. Yeah. Right. That's not the best timing, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or maybe it is. Yeah, maybe it is. <laughs> so is that going to continue, your solo stuff? What, what happens with that? No, I mean... You shelved it. No, I I, the solo stuff, you know, the single's still out, so if people like it and they want to buy it, please, by all means, do. But, you know, I'm focused on the group, and Sugar Babes is now my, you know, my main project and passion, so... So what will happen to the album? Um, I never finished that album, to be honest. I was, I was in the middle of recording it, so... Okay. I guess. Maybe you'll hear some songs in the future, I don't know. <laughs> okay. And when did you, um, when did you get the call going, Hi, we'd like you to be in the Sugar Babes? Well, it was a bit crazy because I, I was looking for um, management anyway, and the girl, the management team I was looking after, uh, looking for, were looking after the girls, the sugar babes. Mm -hmm. So um, at the end of last week, I got a call to say that there might be something, there might be an opportunity, and and basically just to be prepared. Um, but then I, I didn't really know you know to what extent i just thought oh maybe you know something new exciting is gonna i'm gonna meet some new producer or something mm. um, all right so you they didn't say exactly what it was no no i didn't i didn't know and then um yeah basically one of the managers turned up uh, at five o'clock in the morning <laughs> and screamed <laughs> through my letterbox and was like you don't need that do you yeah Jade, <laughs> <laughs> if you want to come you've got to come now you know you've got to get on the plane to la uh, we can't tell you all the details just yet but how uh, exciting, it's exciting. <laughs> oh, yeah you'd love that wouldn't you love that <laughs> eh? Get your passport, darling. You're going to Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? I love it. No, it was wicked. But I didn't actually get to meet them until Sunday. So it was like sitting around for a couple of days, like wondering what was going on yeah. Yeah. and what to tell my mum. Because mum was like, where have you gone? You're not even in the country anymore. And it was all... Top secret. Crazy. Yeah. But it was fun. It was exciting. <laughs> did, did, do you know each other beforehand then? No. no. We met Jay for the first time on, on Sunday. Sunday. What? And then shot a video <laughs> on the Tuesday. I know, it was very quick. <laughs> This is weird. Yeah. <laughs> but it's gone really well, you know. We're really excited. The video went really, really good. It was boiling. But, um, yeah. It was good. We all yeah. nearly collapsed at one point. Really? <laughs> a little bit hot. It looks, yeah, a bit cool. hot for a second. Now, uh, what we're going to do now is go back to the start. This is what we're going to do, OK? Imagine for a second, OK, that I am Jeremy Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> all right? So, you ready? Everyone needs to clap. Please welcome Heidi, Jade and Amel to the show, everybody. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Shut up right oh. now and point the camera at me. <laughs> <laughs> That's actual Jeremy. 
Right, um, right, girls. Hi, welcome to the Jeremy Kyle Show. Hello, Jeremy. Hello, Hello Jeremy. Jeremy. Uh, let's start from the beginning. I can't do the voice. Right, um, right. So the press was saying, okay, that um, Amel, you and Keisha weren't kind of getting on, and she was being horrible to you. What's all that about? Um, don't want to go too into it because I can't be asked with, you know... <laughs> <laughs> oh, OK. Cool, you've got into the Jeremy Carl role very well already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, no. But basically, you know, um, me and, you know, I just... We, we got to the point, it was, you know, it was a, for a long time. It wasn't just as if, like, right, I've had enough and that's it. It was a long time. It was happening for a long time, basically. And we just got to the point where we couldn't try any more and we couldn't do any more. And we know we put everything into it and um, just got to the point where we sort of had enough, really. And uh, What do you mean you couldn't it? do any more? To help the situation out. That's probably the best way of saying it. But, um, yeah, so we, we called it a day and Heidi supported me and stuff. You're right. Anyway, yeah, yeah. and then, um, yeah, so, and then, but, you know, that's in the past now. And we're just, we, you know, with Jade's here, mm -hmm. great singer, and we're just really excited again, you know. Yeah, you do. a great album as well. And so. we wish Keisha all the all best. All the best, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It must really have been quite do. a hard thing, especially for you, Heidi. Yeah, it, 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 well, it's been hard for everyone. It's been a hard few months. And um, past week's been, like, the week from hell, really. Yeah. But... Apart no, from the moment we met Jade, obviously. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks, Jade. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it was a tough time, um, but, you know, as Amal said, we're, we're looking forward to the future and yeah. we've mm. got a lot of things to prove as, as a new line-up together and mm. just excited to get on with it. Because I'm out, wasn't there a thing about you went missing or something? I was yeah, worried got, about that. I got kidnapped. <laughs> I don't know what the hell. What happened there? They're very nice to me. No, I'm joking. Um, no, I just basically just got to the point where I was just, you know, you know, you just have those moments, you hit a wall. Did you? Slap right in the wall, and I just needed some time alone, basically. Did I you do that thing that I do sometimes where you just don't answer the door and draw the curtains for a few days? <laughs> <laughs> um, it was more just I switched my phone and I didn't want to speak to anyone, if I'm completely honest. Right. Yeah. We've all done it. Yeah, you know, it happens. Yeah. Switch your phone off. <laughs> <laughs> so you weren't kidnapped? No. <laughs> we see, we all thought you'd left or something. Oh, yeah, I know. Everyone kept texting me. Because on the Friday, know. you were off and Jade was in, and then by Monday, you were here and Keisha, Keisha was yeah, gone. It was I all knew all like... that, because we were in LA and I was getting loads of phone calls and, like, you know, saying, oh, my God, what's happening? And, and obviously couldn't say anything so uh, mm. yeah but it's all good it's all good now okay um one more question about this and we will move on for it why why did Keisha have to go it wasn't it wasn't a case we didn't push Keisha out the no not it, at all it got to a point in LA where we we basically sat down with our managers and said we can't do this anymore we can't be work part of this work like this and be part of this anymore because Life's too short and you've got to enjoy yourself. And yeah, you've got to be happy. It's like any relationship, you, you try and make it work. And I've got so much respect for what, you know, we achieve, what the journey that we have with Keisha. And um, it's, you know, it's hard, but you've got to make a life decision where, you, where you're going to move on. And, you know, I know there was reports in the papers saying that I tried to con plan to get Keisha out of the group. That's completely not true. Mm -hmm. And the one thing I do want people to know is that um, I know I made the right choice morally as a person and I can live with myself with a clear conscience that I've done the, the right thing and so did them out. Yeah, definitely. So, and we're not going to, you know, start saying things and yeah. stuff. No, we're not, you know, there's no need Look for Look forward to the that. future. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's a new page. Jade's still here, but hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Radio One. Download them for free at bbc.co.uk slash radio one. The lovely sugar babes are here. Hiya. Hello. Hello. It's now with new improved Heidi, Amel and Jade. <laughs> Hello. There's so much um, so much love for you on the text. That's nice. Oh, that's is, good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Thank it's you. really nice. <laughs> now, you're getting along very well, obviously. Yes. Only been since Sunday, though. <laughs> 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 um... Now, <laughs> I want to. I think we should try and get to know Jade a little bit more. So, um, don't be scared, Jade. It's fine. I am a little bit. No, don't. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, because obviously you've only just really just met, and now you're yeah, in a band together. So you're going to be spending a lot of time together. Yes. So Amel and Heidi, let's find out some more. For instance, I mean, we know about Heidi and Amel already. I know that Heidi likes Chicken Tonight, singing, and Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I know that Amel <laughs> likes singing, laughs like a drain, and knows some really dirty jokes. <laughs> but what about Jade? See? Um, so, no, 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 we're going to get the other two to do it. What's Jade's favourite drink? 
Oh God. <laughs> um. It's not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> now then the answer. I was trying to think of what she ordered yeah, to drink <laughs> last time. We, yeah. Like, you know, What's yeah. Jade's favourite food? Um, <laughs> Jade, you're doing it again, not cheating. Uh, okay. Uh, pancakes. That's yeah, all I've seen her eat. Pancakes. I do like pancakes and a lot. Syrup. Is it, is it your favourite though? Yeah, I'd say that. Okay. It's not Easter. <laughs> not pancake. Oh, Pancake day, baby. Yeah. <laughs> we get you. We get you. And uh, what's Jade's favourite TV show? Oh, um, it's quite hard. I actually don't know because that's a white. You, I don't even know my own. T- my best TV show. Yours is Top Gear. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. me. All right, you're nice one, eyes. <laughs> <laughs> do, like, do you like Top Gear, Emma? Like she Top loves Gear. it. I bet you're watching Dave all the time, aren't you? Because that's all that's on Dave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not your Dave, I don't mean Dave. Yeah, the... yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I took that's why I paused I've for a minute. I've kind of got it. I never thought I would actually yeah, say this, but now. I've got into it now, and I, I do well, enjoy watching back to back episodes. Have you been watching X Factor? <laughs> we haven't oh, been here. Oh, We've yeah. been here, there, and everywhere yeah. else. <laughs> all over the place. Yeah. But I haven't seen any of it, have you? Have Not you? really. No. Can we find out Jay's favourite yeah. TV show? Oh, sorry. Yeah, kind of forgot what is your favourite TV show? It's Heroes. I love oh, you. Nice. <laughs> what what cha- what are you up to now? What series? Um, um I'm on. So we get to know each other. No, it's fine. Go right ahead. I like it. <laughs> um, yeah, I've I've finished all of them, and oh, I've really? just heard that the it started again in America now. The fourth season. Oh, nice. So oh, well, if you go back next three, week, I'd... you can yeah, watch can it. Exactly. <laughs> so you've just come back from LA, Jade, where yeah. you've been doing. You did the video for the new track, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Tell us about that. Um, well. Shot it in the desert, yep. and it was originally supposed to be like a whole Kill Bill style. Um, like we were going to be doing stunts, um, and we beat up these mobsters, but because there wasn't a band last week, the, the stunt <laughs> okay. people just shot their own video, so it was going to be based around them. Um, so then, when the when you know, you know things you moved know. on, um, we just went and performed in the desert. So. We're gutted that we didn't get yeah. to do the, the stunt sequences. Oh, so and that's they not look you. really, really good. So good. Do they? Matrix style. Yeah. It must have been quite hot. It was boiling. We were in black leather. Yes. You couldn't get any more hotter clothes if you try. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. It was interesting, but we had a lot of fun. We were thinking we were going. At one point, I thought, I'm either going to faint or be sick. Yeah, I remember yeah. you saying you that. You said yes then when they said you can't get anything other than black leather. How many, how many times are you dressed in all black leather? <laughs> <laughs> Just, just presuming. Oh, are you? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so, have you finished? Because we've got a copy of the album, obviously, with Keisha on. So you've had to redo the whole thing again, have you? Yeah, yeah we, that's been done. Yeah, and we're no, yeah. going to do some more tracks mm-hmm. as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I should be going back next week as well to put down some of my parts. Uh, it'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Should we play the single then? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Might be funny. You could have got a better cover. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's the cover that's going to be with the actual single when it comes out. It just says Sugar Babes on it. Yeah. Radio 1 Podcast. Podcast. Oh. How was that for you, Jay? Oh, good. I'm singing along. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I know the words to this one. <laughs> so, are you prepared for how your life is? Pr- it's probably going to change now, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, no, I'm not, I'll am not. i be honest, I'm not at all prepared. And, <laughs> right. You know, I've got a taster of it in LA and I'm just shocked that people would sit out in the sun in the desert just to try and get a picture I, obviously that's never happened to me before and coming back to london today has just been nuts and we were outside so many people outside perhaps yeah and i'm the whole time just laughing because i'm like oh, i can't believe this i can't <laughs> believe i really can't my life changed overnight but yeah. i'm just so excited were you getting followed around in la as well yeah yeah they were like climbing mountains and stuff it was <laughs> nuts <laughs> And Mel so was dangerous. getting scared for them. Yeah. She was like, he's going to fall off. Gonna fall off. <laughs> oh, bless you, Mel. <laughs> what do you think, um, like, when you joined, what was the, the what, what did it take a while to get used to? What was the weirdest thing? I was eased into it and Mel wasn't, was she? I think the thing that you can't get your head around is, like, people knowing your name and calling your name out and being, you know, followed or, like, like what Jay just said, like, paparazzi and stuff you think bloody hell this is so weird mm. but it just feels quite surreal what I thought when I first joined mm. yeah and definitely I've kind of spent the first few months writing the album with the girls yeah. and then we've done it together so it wasn't right. as uh, dramatic as weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, some people say now that there's like no original members left c- can you really call yourself sugar babes do you know what I mean 
I think everyone's going to have their own opinion, but when when I joined Sugar Babes, they'd been dropped by London Records. They'd have one album, and the three three of us were signed, me, Mosir and Keisha, eight years ago to uh, Island Records. I was part of the first number one of the band and been the hi- there for the history of the last eight years, mm. and Mel was part of the biggest album that we've ever had in the history of Sugar Babes. So, um, you know, people might say but I think you know we've been a massive part of the history of the band mm. and, and we should continue with yeah, the name definitely. we've thought about this there's an outside chance of course that the original three could get together and you could have your own tribute band it'd <laughs> 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 be pretty weird wouldn't it <laughs> <laughs> I doubt that would ever happen though, so were you maybe two of them no. yeah maybe two of them there yeah so you know like would, would you still perform Overload when you play live or would that be I weird I don't know we whether we do this, Overload just because yeah. it wasn't our song exactly mm. but everything from freak like me yeah yeah yeah, okay. yeah. it'll be all over okay <laughs> also something i wanted to ask you since um the last song nowadays when people see you walking down the street do they still say hey sexy oh yeah all <laughs> the time in a two-piece at the bar yeah at the beach at the beach yeah. sorry yeah at the LA. beach I, I knew that <laughs> <laughs> i knew that in la that's all they kept shouting hey sexy yeah. <laughs> how you doing sexy hey two-piece <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thanks for our sweets. I hope you enjoyed That's yours. Right. I thought they were horrible. I thought they were all right. The milk is like a I didn't mean the ones to that you bought. bad sweets, but I have one and I really didn't like it. Oh, thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming in. I know it's been Thank um, you for having us. a kind of uh, weird week for you in the weirdest time, but you're getting, like I said, a lot of people wishing you really good luck on the text, which is good. Thank you. And thanks for kind of setting everything straight. Thank one you. more thing I want to say as well. There's Chappers here. Giving up. Has he gone off? Oh. Will you join me, Becky? Hello. We were talking about this before you arrived, right? I am famously no good with confrontation, okay? Okay. So if I had to get rid of, let's say, one of you lot, like the one who didn't speak, or, or Becky, what do you think I would do? You would go into the live lounge, pull the blinds down, and then fire us over the, the uh, talk back, like oh the intercom God. system. Okay. <laughs> Only because I can't do it. And we'd see you, like, shaking on the cameras on the CCTV, yeah. and you'd be, be like, like, you're all fired, like goodbye! And then you'd, like, run upstairs <laughs> yeah. really quickly. Goodbye now! On the phone. Um, <laughs> who had to make that call, just one more thing, to Keisha? Did you we, have to do that? We didn't, we didn't, like, kick Keisha out the group. No. It was, it was a... A point where me and Amal just said that we couldn't work in the group anymore. Mm. And then after that, we were offered to continue with a new member. That wasn't in our thoughts. It was just we got to a point where we said we can't do this anymore. Mm. That's it. And then after that, a few days after that, we were presented with the opportunity to get another member and carry on. It'd be like if me and Chappers decided that we'd had enough of you and then just True. went to management and said, can't you get someone else? Yeah. Hello. And then, yeah, yeah. You know, you'd just be sort of let go. Okay, right, okay, I get it now. We carry on with a new one. Yeah, okay. Uh, Jade, <laughs> thanks so much for coming in. Thank you so much for having me. It's and been fun. Thank you, Amel and Heidi. Sugar Babes, thank everybody. You. Hey, thank, thank you. you. Radio One Podcast. Radio One Podcast. That was the Scott Mills Daily. Why not try the best of Chris Moyles? Available now to download for free at bbc.co.uk slash radio one.